Hello everyone, welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. In this one we're going to be continuing on from where we left off before on the main mission Gemini. Uh, we got the webcam rolling again. I haven't been able to get the attachment on it yet that allows it to record longer than 30 minutes. So unfortunately it might go down again uh, in this episode. But this, I swear this is the last episode that's going to happen. I've got something for it. I've got something organized. So hopefully in the next episode we'll have the, the webcam the whole time. So hopefully those issues will be resolved in the next one. But for now, the main mission Gemini requires us just to return to base. We sent Alva, I think her name was, to the base in the last episode. So hopefully she'll be there and we can all meet up and maybe Beta's got something to tell me as well. Maybe some new things she's found out along the way. But for now, guys, let's uh, continue up. We're just outside the base now. So we'll just jump in, continue on with the mission and see where this takes us now. There's also a side mission, I think, from uh, from Zoe that led us into this base as well. And I think she's actually finished uh, what she had to do to complete that side mission. Hang on. I think it's this one. Second verse. Zoe seeks to heal the Utara's ailing land gods and bring life back to Plain, Plain Song's fields. But she needs Aloy's help to do it. Uh, we're in the middle of doing this side quest. I don't think I did it on camera, but it says talk to Zono instead of wait for Zoe to complete the reboot code. So if we ever need to get a little bit more of experience, we can do this one as well. Because this is a solid amount of experience, an extra 10,000, which, which would be good, especially in terms of getting to those late game levels. Because some of these later missions, you do actually do have to do a little bit of farming in between in between missions, because it does require a pretty hefty, a hefty level. But we're at level 29 now, and this mission requires us to be level 30, so I think it should be fine. But here we go. Welcome back. Return to Gaia. Let's see what we got here. Aloy, I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. <sighs> Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But... With your sub-functions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy. You better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. Okay. Also, just in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a different outfit right now. Uh, I just thought this outfit looked cool. It didn't really have too many crazy stats on it or anything. I just thought it looked pretty cool. <laughs> a lot better than the last one we had on, so I put it on. The, uh, the resistances and things on it aren't, like, incredibly out of proportion or anything. That's fine. I just liked how it looked. So, we have to go down the bottom, I think, yeah. now. The mid beta, yeah. Oh, I think we did upgrade a few weapons as well. Actually, I can't remember what I showed at the end of the last episode. I don't think I showed this, though. That I, I started switching out some, some bows and things and got rid of a few weapons that were sort of redundant. I weren't using them really that much. So, we got this lightning bow down the bottom here. I didn't even know I had this. I just found it in my inventory and... <laughs> thought it was a good idea to use it. So we're using this now for our lightning damage, I guess you could say. We also managed to farm from a vendor a fire bow, this wildfire hunter bow, which is also an epic. So, I mean, I've been struggling to actually find some fire damage, strangely enough. So we managed to find a fire bow. That's cool. We got some, uh, from the frost hunter bow, we've got some acid arrows, we've got some frost arrows, and we got some advanced hunter 
So the only really thing that we have that isn't based around some sort of arrow ammunition is the spike thrower and the bolt blaster. So this is pretty much just like a like a rip pieces off the machines. It's just a single ammunition type uh, spike thrower. I want to upgrade this at some point and I did find a few upgrades but I just didn't have the parts to get them. So that's obviously on the to-do list and this shotgun has been serving me pretty well. So I think I might stick with it for now. We do have lightning ammo already and frost ammo already and plasma hasn't really been standing out to me too much. So if we do find a better bolt blaster, we'll probably pick it up. But yeah, that's pretty much where we are for now. Let's continue down and Aloy. meet with Beta. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. In a cell again. A slave. Forever. I'll protect you? It's usually what happens anyway, right? Laurel and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me. Nothing can protect me from them. I told you from the beginning, we'll never beat them. It's hopeless. Beta. Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect? You don't have a defect. Beta. Look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. The difference is... I had him. Frost. He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did it feel like? It was like... Having a strength. That was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. 
I believe you. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merch, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Okay, so they just in on it. Whenever you are ready, awesome. come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. Okay. I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't be ready now. There's not really anything I want to do in between. We're at a pretty good level for this mission. And Beta is now along for the ride. Hello again, Aloy. Hello, Aloy. Hey, Gaia. So, uh, me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. Uh, it depends what you want to talk about, mate. Let's go Gemini. Our progress about the old world. Questions about subordinate funk. Or about the Zeniths? I think let's just go to Gemini, hey? I'm ready. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Connections in place. Booting up. Beta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Errant, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my Cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay, radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. <laughs> Connecting to the cauldron network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Clearance confirmed. 
Initiating containment sequence. Mistake. Here they come. And here we go again. Alright, so first we gotta find out what we're going up against here. A behemoth. What's this one? Ravager. Alright. Let's take a pause for a second so I can find out what the hell it is. Oh, actually, I think we've been up against the behemoth before. Fire damage, acid damage. That's good because we just managed to get some fire arrows. So I guess we concentrate on the behemoth first. Uh, which one's better? This one. Oh my god. Is that a joke? That does so much damage. Wait, they're the wrong arrows. Here we go. Mate, I know that. But I need a hand as well, buddy. Oh my god, this thing just sprays rocks. Right, I need to concentrate on one, I think, before I start going with the other one. Much better. Alright, jump. Oh, mate, with two of them just running around, it is really hard to get a hold of things. I know, mate, but I am sort of got my hands full here. I'll have to protect Beta. Oh, I imagine... Yeah, I think if Beta dies, that's it. Oh, I thought for sure I was dead there. Stay back. So far, decent. Hey, Lloyd, need a hand over here. I know, buddy. Uh, really angry. Draw it away from Beta. Oh, we're getting there, though. Stay back. Oh, yes, one down. Alright, what about this one? Purge water and acid. Okay, I'm happy we didn't use acid on the first one then, because we would have probably ran out of ammunition. Get back. Come on. Gone. 
The weapon? Oh, really? Where's the weapon? Wait, didn't he say a weapon dropped? It's a lot easier to dodge this guy. If the other guy's not also coming at me. Have a few more of these. Get back. Alright, come on, go, 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 go. I think we can get this. It's only dead anyway, though. We should be fine. Okay. That's all them for now. You two okay? I'm still breathing. Aloy. Hephaestus... Hep... Aloy. Hephaestus can't escape, but it must have fled... ...deeper into the facility. I'll drive it back here. I'll get the cracked core fixed in the meantime. Keep oh. her safe. Oh, man. I get it. We gotta go get Hephaestus and bring it back here. Okay, I don't know how we're going to be able to contaminate that sort of thing, though. Alright, there we go. We pretty much got full health. That didn't go as bad, I guess, as I thought. It, I mean, it was pretty difficult to take them both on at the same time, I have to say. We can climb up these. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I gotta chase after Hephaestus. Force it out of wherever it's hiding. Make it retreat to the core. Okay, we just gotta make it retreat. So we get our few more of these. Hunter bow. Oh, are those the advanced ones? Oh, it is the advanced ones. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, we can't get across now. So what's the plan if we can't get across? We could glide down there, though. Grapple point. We could do that. Oh, we don't even need to, to grapple. Aloy, I'm patched into your focus feet. You should know there is a huge power draw coming from the next chamber. Thanks for the heads up. I'm almost there. Oh, can we, oh with the pool caster. There we go. I don't think I've seen those before. Break open this. Grab a few things. Okay. Let's head on out. It's some kind of production chamber. First, this is up to something, all right. What, what kind of machine is it trying to build? I don't know, but I'm going to shut it down. But those metal carriers will lead me to where it's getting materials from. I bet that's where Festus is hiding too. Oh, these metal carriers. Yeah, okay. Follow the conveyors. Gotcha. This definitely doesn't look like any sort of cauldron that I've been in yet. Looks like there are a couple of things I can do. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoops. I can't believe I just... Oh, my God. most of the components in the core, but... The energy processor's cracked. Without a way to fabricate another... There's no way I can fix it. Okay, um, let me think. What if... You bypass the processor? Connect it to... I don't think I was meant to get on the uh, on the conveyor that early. <laughs> I just happened to jump up and grab onto it, and that I, I didn't realize there was going to be anything there. That's why I I pretty much jumped off immediately, accidentally. All right, I'm pretty sure this is what we got to do, right? I could have gone down the bottom there, but I don't think that really goes anywhere. Should be a node you can override. The central platform. 
Thanks. Maybe I should deal with these machines first. I have to go invisible, dude. Otherwise, that thing's gonna spot me immediately. And it did anyway. Yeah, damn, I thought I could go invisible. I thought I could a purge water damage, you're kidding. Okay, I'm just gonna have to take this guy out normally then. Oh, there's so many of them as well. Oh, maybe I can just do this without taking them out. I mean, I actually survived. The machine's on the way. Beta, the Vexus has locked me out of the node. Any ideas? I'll see what I can do. Slow and steady. I'm at least doing some damage to these things. Oh my god, I didn't even see this thing there. Weak to acid? Okay, I think I should take out the smaller ones though, because that, that big guy is sort of limited to moving around down the bottom. Quite hit it. Gotcha. And this one is it's weak to acid, isn't it? Oh no, it's not weak to anything. Oh, come on. As if that didn't hit the hit the back of it. There we go. Down. I'll take those. Long leg leader. Alright, we can chill up here before we go down the bottom. Just catch a little bit of a breather. So what's a week two? I think it was acid arrows, right? Acid. So we've got Oh wow, it's not even... Oh, I thought it was the last of them. Okay, I guess I have to take out another one of these guys. There's only one of them here now. Alright, nearly done. A few more hits. Okay, we're good. Power cell. Like this. Alright. I think they keep coming, actually. Yeah, because they keep coming in. Look at that. I don't think... I don't think there's any way where I can actually just eliminate them all. I have to think... I think I have to just deal with it. Just deal with the fact that they're just going to keep coming up. Some decent damage. Weak spots on that machine are very big though. 
Oh, the weapon! Yeah, that would be super nice. I'm gonna leave it there for now, though. Wow, this is tearing that thing apart. I can't believe those those kangaroo type machines aren't coming up looking for me. You know, I thought they'd be definitely coming to get me by now. Go back to our acid arrows here. Sweet. The big triceratops looking thing is down. You know what's going to make things easy though? I could probably get down and grab the heavy weapon. And use the heavy weapon to take these... These kangaroo looking things out. Or not. Hang on. Alright, that might buy me a little bit of time. Not really. <laughs> Both getting really weak as well. This has got to come to an end at some point. And I've already taken out the big boy now. Alright, he's down. Oh, that just has like an AoE damage. It's undodgeable. Get in there. No more ammo. Oh, there we go. Dodge it that time. I got them all. Ooh. I, I tapped into the core's network hub. I managed to disrupt Hephaestus' control of the node. You should be able to override it now. Nice. Thanks. Oh, I thought that noise was more of them coming after me. <laughs> That's alright. So, search repair pod. Okay, so where did that big dinosaur thing die? Was it here? Oh, that was it. The grim horn. Okay. So I think we should be good now. Just jump up there in the middle. Oh, I can grab onto this. There we go. Alright. Override the network uplink. Let's do it. Alright. Hang on one second. Before we continue, I noticed that my uh, video has gone off again, so i got to turn that on. It sounds like it fled to another chamber. Well, I better not get comfortable. Fled to another chamber. Don't tell me we're going to have to do that like a, a number of different times. Like that sort of thing what we just did there, like take out the rhinoceros or some sort of big machine with other machines like guarding it. That would be ridiculous. Great. The fastest cover the floor with lightning. I gotta find a way over it. Aloy, more machines keep coming. Please tell me you're getting close. I'm working on it. I've been smashing through a lot of machines on my side, too. I guess Aaron's missing out. Aloy, I'm making progress on the bypass, but I, I need something to hold the cycling module together. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? Right. 
Oh, or some luminous braiding. And you could reinforce it with a conversion cylinder. For increased connectivity. I, I think... I think we can do this, Aloy. Oh, dear. Mate, she's believing. Okay, I'm pretty sure the only thing is on that side. Were a few little uh, crates to pick up. To catch a ride on the rail, go over the ship. So the only thing down the bottom there were monsters, like uh, machines. So we won't go down there. Pretty sure we're gonna go over this way now. Uh, how, how's our map actually? Oh, our map's pretty decent. Okay. Oh, we haven't actually been to this side yet. Oh, yeah, catch a ride. Here we go. <laughs> So we could go invisible and try and take out the other one. Oh, I just hope I don't get seen first. Okay, it seems like we're okay. I don't think I've seen one of those before. I don't see any other machines around here either. Ah, it's all me. Hang on. Oh, this one's got like plasma or something. Oh, here we go again. Try to get your access back. Oh no, what is that? Hang on. Weak against frost damage. Okay. Oh. Alright, now it's brittle. Yeah, these things go down like a like a ton of bricks if you hit them in the right spots. Grab a few more of these. Grab a few more frost arrows. Just dodged it. Shoot it in its butt. <laughs> Alright, I can't do much more than that. It's got to get down soon. Oh, I dodged them both at the same time there. Do you see that? <laughs> uh, I wonder what I can use against that thing. I'm not giving up. Maybe a little bit of acid. Oh, we get another one there. Oh, it's a cool straight up. No. That really hit me. I'm gonna take out this little guy first. There we go. Hang on. Oh, it's Dion. I gotta run over and take it out. Got it. I might be able to escape this horse strider now. Just by running away a little bit. Because I may have not seen where I went. Wait. Click on this guy. Oh, it's an Apex Claw Strider. It's weak to shock damage. Oh, we might be able to finally try out our new advanced shock arrows now. There we go. 
Whoops, that was the wrong ammunition. This is doing some solid damage. Those advanced shock arrows, they work a treat on this force strider. I need to fill them up. There we go. Oh, whoops, wrong ammunition. Whoops. Oh, mate. I'm not choosing the right ammunition, am I? <laughs> Shoot it in its eye, maybe. There we go. 45. I wonder why it's giving me one piece of damage there. If you don't hit it in the right spots, its armor takes up just all the damage. Alright, I'll just go back to it with my advanced arrows then. Got it. There. Node access restored. Now you can override it. An apex course right. Oh, yeah. You did the heavy lifting. Alright, usually these types of battles come in threes though. So I am expecting a third one of those. These big battles with something to take down. Got these. Oh, can I not do this now? Because this thing's in the way. I can't get access to the terminal. But do I have to wait till this thing despawns? Hmm. That's a, that's a little bit annoying. Okay. I wonder how long it takes these things to despawn. Oh, oh actually. It gave me the option. Hang on. Yes. Hey. This is running out of places to hide. Uh, Aloy, I just registered a huge energy surge back in the production chamber. Something big is happening. Here too. Everything's glowing. The machine that Festus was building, it must have finished it. Oh, it's, it's powerful. I'm almost done with the core repairs. Should we come to you? Maybe I could distract the machine if... No, Just stay where you are, okay? Handling the machine's my job. Okay. Be safe. Be safe. Yeah, right. <laughs> if I'm coils, let yeah, me know that. Alright, what have we got here? The third and final battle. Okay, Slaughter Spine, Frost Damage. Okay, well I'm happy we got some Frost Arrows then. Things on its legs are glowing. I think it's charging up. You gotta be kidding me. Better not be charging up. I should definitely take these things out though. If video games have taught me anything. Glowing things on a big boss. Shoot those first. I mean, 
I'm doing a solid amount of damage. Oh my god. It covers so much ground. I have a solid amount of uh, ammo though. A solid amount of resources to craft all this chill water ammo. All the damage on the tail. Charging up again. That's okay. Wits of my screen coming running at me. I don't know how I'm going to take this thing on. Yeah, I don't have any purge water ammunition though, bud. I could use my power strike maybe and go invisible. Okay, good out of that one. Oh, that does 243 in the eye. I've done a lot of damage to it so far though, with its health. Dodge that one. Not that one though. Come on. Oh, you got to time it right. I timed that one really, really good actually. There's a little bit of delay on that attack that he does. So if you delay the jump, you can actually dive through it pretty easily. Couldn't dodge that one though. <laughs> Hang on. Alright, I think it's still on. I think it's still on. Hang on. Oh, I can't do it. Come on, activate. Activate stealth striker. Do it, mate. I'm not sure if this is going to actually help me at all. Not really. Okay, I think my webcam just turned off again. Due to overheating. That's alright though. Happens. No more ammo. Oh, then we should have it. We're so close. It's done. You did it. Uh, there, there should be one more note to override. Good. Stand by. Nailed it. I'm sending Hephaestus back to you. Mate, that was uh, 
That was intense. <laughs> that thing was absolutely crazy. Imagine if we get to override something like that at some point. <laughs> no more hiding, Hephaestus! Got it! Hephaestus is back in the core! Make sure it stays there. I'm heading back. And then we can start the merge. Because of you, Beta. I'm glad you came along. And you, Varl. We couldn't have done any of this without you. Right back at you, Aloy. Mate, they're talking as if it's like the final stand or something, man. Right? I mean, obviously, they're pretty proud of themselves that they got through it and got Hephaestus back in the main cell, in the main chamber, but I have a feeling this is not going to be the end of Hephaestus. Alright, here we go. The, the core is stable. Oh, completed. Nice. Hephaestus is 100% contained. And we better get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. Done. Okay, to complete the merge, we need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. Redundant copy. You cost us quite a lot of time. Eric, get beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. Behind me. Come on, quit screwing around. Now we're having fun, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Tilda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Tilda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Tilda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! No, I can't even see her! <laughs> B. 
Beta. Where am I? Ah, you're awake. You took quite a hit when Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? Okay. Mate, what is going on? I mean, we got a shit ton of skill points and stuff to, to use now, which is pretty good. But bloody hell, Val... Like, I'm pretty sure that means Val's gone, right? There's no way that could be like a... Like some sort of... Like, she obviously wasn't dreaming that, and there's no way they can get him back, right? I can't imagine that would be... That would be anything that could happen. Bloody hell, though. This story just took a... Definitely big dive. Okay, um, I think this is where I'm going to end it here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. The story in Horizon Forbidden West is actually starting to really open up and... Well, I mean, I say open up. It's been opening up the whole time. I guess it's sort of starting to come to a conclusion now. I guess we're starting to find out who the hell the Zeniths are and, and, you know, what these people want. And apparently they all don't want the same thing. Otherwise, this Tilda person wouldn't be helping us. So... I don't know. I'm very interested to see where the story is going to go from here. But for now, guys, thank you for watching. We'll catch up in the next episode. Hope you guys are enjoying Horizon Forbidden West. Catch you guys later. Have a good one.